down okay, Tim? You, you okay, buddy? I think we only have one word for this movie. Three, two, one. BORING! Hi guys, Tune Critic here. This is our little first impressions, review, thoughts of the 2017 Power Rangers movie. You want the short version? There you go. If you want the long version, okay. Josh will... Okay, yeah, that, that's oh. a long version. <laughs> okay, yeah, but anyways, oh my gosh. Uh, this movie felt like an eternity. It's like... Like an hour in before the before they before they morphed in, they like were in for like two three hours. Mm -hmm. This movie was roughly about that time, but it took like it it took as much time it's, setting it up before we actually got to the. It good felt time. about as long as like Lord of the Rings or something like that, and even the extended version. The ex <laughs> right? <laughs> oh my! Ugh. You know, there's a thing with Power Rangers. You see. It usually takes about maybe two or three episodes before you really start to care about the characters. So that's how well the show seems to work. It works on a much smaller scale. You spend two hours and only at certain parts do you start building up the Rangers and no one cares because we're here to see the Power Rangers. See, it, it, let me tell you something, audience. When I was in this movie, you've seen me rant, you've seen me rave, you've seen me just, just want to destroy this movie. Yet I watched this movie. I did not laugh, I did not smile, I did not find anything interesting or enjoying about this movie. I was the disappointed father, if you will, of this movie. So how about we just go around and just say one thing that we did not, the, the, the way, what we did not like about this movie, starting with you, Josh. It started off with a cow masturbation joke. If that is your, that is their opening joke, masturbating a cow. Yeah, the first ten minutes of this movie, legit. My reaction was like when they show the title at the Look, beginning. I'm like, wow, good job, you've done such a great job. But they didn't job. go like with a like a big grandiose sort of thing like in the trailers. No, it was just. Power Rangers, right in the corner. Just right in the corner. Like nobody, like nobody would think of turning their heads to think that's the title. Just oh, we're, it's, uh, like, we, we, it's we, like you're gonna have a bad time. We, we were in a we we knew as soon as that happens, like we were in for a slog. Yeah, which is so disappointing because this movie could have had the potential to at least have something. But in the end, all we're given is exactly what I thought this movie was going to be—a generic superhero. Bore fest. Which is funny because at least DC has some emotion. At least DC has the ability to convey a story. Marvel, of course, has the ability, but Power Rangers? The series that for so long has bolstered, we're not your average ordinary superhero show. We're better than that. We're the Power Rangers. You sure don't fucking feel like the Power Rangers. Angst. 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 Okay. Angst. Yeah. Let's, Angst. Yeah. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about these characters. Okay. I have not seen a more token main cast in any other film. It's like, okay, you got the guy who's got pseudo daddy issues. You got the token LGBT. You got the token mental illness auti autist. You got the token guy. The loner. What? The loner. Yeah, the token the loner. loner. It's a, it just... These aren't characters. They're quirks. They're... And, and they even made a joke about it. It's like, oh, all of, oh different, co different color rangers, different color humans. It's a... It's not, honestly. The way the way that this movie progressed, they spent all this time building up the Rangers. They built up at points, there are specific points I could tell in the story where we're supposed to care. There's exposition being thrown around all over the place, but it's at least some form of character development. Definitely didn't feel like it because you have no emotional reason for these characters. At least at least they didn't go all angsty like, oh, I don't know how to handle this. I'm a Power Ranger. What does that mean? I'm so scared. What do I do? Yeah, like, at least they had the comedy season not to do that. But... Yeah, that, that would have been too much. Yeah, it's like, and the emotional scenes, it's like, I felt like they were they were almost there. It's like the, it's like a couple parts. I, I felt glimmers. I felt I felt like tiny, tiny little glimmers <laughs> of emotion, like like the campfire scene. It's like that that was kind of, I felt that was a good scene because you know it's like they were all announced they were all announcing their tragic backstories. Yeah, and, one by one. Yeah, yeah but get that out of the way. but yeah, it's <sighs> good start. 
could have gone a little further with it. Uh huh. Yeah, like I said, this movie has the makings of what could be a potentially good or at least passable attempt at a Power Rangers movie. But what we're given is characters that we can't connect <clears throat> with, mediocre at best, like acting, and a story that it's it's there. I mean. <sighs> I'm not even mad at this movie. I'm not mad. I, I, I'm not raging. I'm not flooding over to YouTube saying, ha, ah, I was right. This was the worst thing ever. Yeah. It's just this. Yeah. And he, yeah. We're, and our experiences with Power Rangers. Okay. It's like, Will not, not, knows nothing about Power Rangers. Yeah. The only sort of thing I kind of remember about this a while ago when I was on Newgrounds and I watched Kerbifer's Parody Rangers and I got really invested into that because, you know, I was so funny. And But yeah, I never watched any of the shows, any of the other movies and all like that. And from what I gathered, it just seemed like a silly sort of campy sort of Sentai kind of thing. It's it just never really grabbed me, and no. even with my lack of lack of knowledge or passion for Power Rangers, this film did nothing. There were like I could count like almost five instances where I dozed off, and I don't know if it's because I don't know if it was because I had a late night flight getting over here like at one in the morning, or because I was this disinterested with <laughs> this setup and these characters. It's just. I felt nothing. Yeah, and yeah, me, um, I vaguely recall, I do remember growing up with Mighty Morphin and I stopped a little bit way through Turbo and I do remember the first Power Rangers movie. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm, I guess you could call me like a casual fan or maybe a former fan if we want to be technical, but yeah, this movie, um, I w went in expecting, it's like, there were so many different conflicting opinions on this movie. Like, mm -hmm. I, knew, I know people who absolutely loved it. I know people who absolutely loathed it. I went in, so, okay, maybe, maybe what, I was so disappointed that I just went in with a, with a, came out with, eh. It's, I, I couldn't, I couldn't, like, laugh at the bad stuff. Like, Batman v Superman or Suicide Squad. It's like, those are great movies to watch. Those are, those are great bad movies to watch. I, I mean, in my opinion, at least. Yeah. But they're okay. I mean, they're good popcorn flicks. They're at least yeah. a good th At least you get something memorable out of it. Mm -hmm. At least you laughed at something or you smirked at something. You're just like, yeah, that was pretty cool. You're given something memorable. Pa Power Rangers gives you nothing. Yeah. And here's the thing. Like, when I saw that this movie was getting positive reviews. I was legit uh. convinced that they put something in the popcorn. I don't see what the positive things are for this movie. If it's the exposition and the characters and the development on that front, I guess I could see that. If you're talking about the special effects, which are rated basically from Michael Bay's Transformers. This, this felt... Regurgitated from... Regurgitated. Yeah, this yeah. felt like Michael Bay leftovers that nobody even wanted to touch yeah. after it's been spewed out or something like that. It's... Yeah. Yeah. Hey, tell, tell us about how much you are a, a super fan of Power Rangers, because we got no no idea... Half a, halfway casual fan. Let, let, let's talk to the raging Geekasaurus over okay, here. Okay, so I have been a hardcore Power Rangers fan, not since Mighty Morphin. Here's the thing. I did not grow up with Mighty Morphin. I understood it. It was there, but I never watched it. I didn't catch on to Power Rangers officially until I had a VHS copy of Power Rangers in Space, which is the fourth season, and that was with the Psycho Rangers. I, some people out there probably remember that VHS tape. I did not start officially watching Power Rangers on TV until Lightspeed Rescue and Time Force, which are my two favorite series. And then I just carried on from there. Well, at least watching TV-wise, I didn't start watching again until RPM, then I stopped, then I started watching Samurai for a bit, and that flopped, and then I watched Dino Charge, and you guys know my opinions on Dino Charge. But from a guy who is not a Mighty Morphin fan, which is weird because I'm a huge Power Rangers fan, but yet Mighty Morphin doesn't do that much for me. When I looked at this movie, I wanted to see all the similarities that they were going to try to bring in. I was looking at the way they were adapting Mighty Morphin. Because I've watched enough of it to understand it. I haven't seen every single episode. But I have enough to know what Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is. Let me tell you that there were some parts where they're doing like the iconic things. Just like, it's Morphin time. Make my monster grow. I I I. Those were iconic things from the TV show. Yet they are delivered with such blandness. Like, they were just so lackluster. It wasn't even... 
I mean, it's, ever, lukewarm. Lukewarm is the yeah. re, is the word that I want to go for. Yeah, it's. I mean, I mean, even on the walk back, it's like I came up with a better one. It's like when they were failing at the training. It's just like maybe maybe he could have just gone. Ay, ay, ay. I mean, that would have been a good joke. Yeah, that would have been fine. <laughs> the thing is, the reason why I was so against this in the beginning was that what they're doing. If this is an adaptation of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, what? <laughs> so far away by adding all these token characters and all these labels and trying to make it like the the love child or at least the rejected love child I guess of Chronicle and Fan Stick. You can't make Power Rangers super dark and gritty. You can't make Power Rangers dark. There's Time Force, there's RPM, <coughs> there's even Mystic Force at times. There are reasons to have a dark Power Rangers show. But this is the movie, and you have it down so gritty and so realistic. You have it to the point where what we're presented with is so incredibly bland and boring that it's not even Power Rangers. It's wearing the skin of Power Rangers. It's acting like Power Rangers. They even they even have the scene, the part in the movie where they get all the Zords just like, let's go into battle. They start playing Go Go Power Rangers. And I'm sitting here at first like this, but then they do the theme. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay. And the theme's gone. All right. They, they just end it right there. It's like, ooh, look, here's a bit of nostalgia for you. Here's a bit of nostalgia for you. Ooh. <laughs> oh you weren't too, you weren't quick <laughs> enough. You weren't quick enough. Yeah. It's like, could you imagine how that, how that scene could have gone if just like, that, it's like the the gold monsters reaching for the crystal and they're just like a like a giant short you can that's that. where they should have played the thing <laughs> yes. because at least there that would have shown that is power rangers that's the megazord i don't know what this is this is like a huge zord it's like a, a megazord a megazord i'm like bravo that's exactly what it's supposed to be Ugh. fucking idiots and then, then there's, then there's Rita Repulsa. Who, to be this. fair, was probably the only one having as much fun as she some people was thought she was supposed to. God damn creepy at times, like especially like it up, like especially like in the jewelry store. And <laughs> just, just her like hot, delicious, and then just blatantly shouting out Krispy Kreme. <laughs> that okay, I will admit. That got a legitimate giggle out of me. Yeah, it just, it just, it just sounds surreal. It oh, is. I, yeah, I, I, I kind of like snickered. I like seriously. <laughs> it wasn't laughing at the joke. It was laughing at the attempt of the joke. Because we all know Krispy Kreme is actually having a promotion where they have, you know, their yeah, boxes. And then she was, and then she was just, and, and, then, and then she was just eating. Um, <laughs> And then she was just eating a donut, uh, one of those Krispy Kreme donuts. It was like, it's, it's like uh, a twelve pack is twenty nine ninety nine or something. Yeah. <laughs> I can just imagine that. But anyways, yeah. that was such blatant product then, placement. The I have not seen such blatant product placement since Man of Steel. You know what I'm talking about? Where they like crash through IHOP and they crash through all yeah. the and all and all that stuff. It's, I it's... feel like this movie got touched by DC because they probably thought, no, we don't need to do it the Marvel way. Let's they, do it the DC they way. They were given the DC touch. Exactly. Now, which makes me wonder, what would this movie have been like if Marvel did it? Because I could tell you it probably would have been a hell of a lot they better. They probably would have had a lot more fun Wait, with Didn't Marvel do a couple of the Mar uh, Power Rangers comic books? No, that's, uh, that's Boom Comics. That's IDW. Oh, so, oh, okay. It, but to be fair, you know what? I'd rather be watching the the not watching. I'd rather be watching an attempt of the comics being made into movies than this. And which is this is that's another funny thing. There's so many things I'd rather watch. I did not like the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers original movie. I rewatched it again a few days ago. I would rather watch that again than this. Because at least that is what it's supposed to be. It, Power Rangers. I think like the the main thing you can sort of take away from this, they try to pull off this film way too seriously when it at, at its core, Power Rangers in and of itself, it's campy, it's silly, it's stupid, it's something you can try to at least have a good time with. This we didn't get anything. Yeah, and and that's the thing. It's remember it's like those suits. Those Power Ranger suits Okay. Iron Man, Ray, Iron Man, like suits, basically. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're, they're really, yeah. At, at their core, the the Power Ranger suits are re are really silly. But when you try and take them and make them dark and gritty, 
it, it, it takes out the silly and replaces it with stupid. <laughs> There's a very fine line between silly and stupid. Clearly, this movie did not know the difference. Uh, yeah, and, so, and there were glimpses. And, that, and that's the thing. Throughout this movie, I saw glimpses of, like, embers of it almost, <laughs> almost understanding what makes Power Rangers great. It was almost there. It's like right between their close but no banana. The yeah. thing is, if you want an authentic Power Rangers experience of what they were attempting to do here, just watch the original series. Just watch the first Mighty Morphin movie. That's all you need to do because that is staying true to what it is. What they have done here, what they could have easily done, at least to make this movie somewhat passable, don't adapt to Mighty Morphin. Power Rangers has been the tradition of every new season is a completely new team. You don't need to adapt the Mighty Morphin team. You could have very easily just adapted something different. Or you could have even gone original. You could have had an original team and no one would be yelling at you saying you're disgracing Mighty Morphin. You're, and I'm not the one yelling you're <coughs> disgracing Mighty Morphin. I think what what this movie has done to Mighty Morphin is pathetic. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's completely ineffectual. <laughs> it, ineffective. It's, it's one of those things where it's like, you just go, it's like, I have never felt more meh than this. Also, I'm going to be a jerk right now. You are probably wondering, oh, so Jason David Frank and Amy Jo Johnson make cameos in this, right? Five seconds. In the end. That is it. <laughs> I don't know why they were contracted to make cameos in this. Oh yes, and the post-credit scene, which we didn't. We, we walked out, out out of. Here's what that post-credit scene is. Yes, I'm being a jerk. You can clip out this video. I don't care. What it alludes to is that their detention teacher is someone named Tommy Oliver, and they all look to the chair, and there's a green jacket on it. Hmm. I guess the next movie, which by the way, we're getting four more of these. Uh. Four more of these. We're setting up a franchise here, folks. I, we can only hope that they learn from, like, what let's, the mistakes for this. Let's give them the benefit of the doubt and say this was a trial movie. They try to see what works, what doesn't, and who knows, maybe for this sequel coming up, maybe they'll surprise us. We don't know. They do say that sometimes sequels are better than the original, but, like, here's the thing. As I've said, I don't hate this movie. I'm not mad at this movie. I am disappointed at the fact that it tried and yet it didn't at the same time. Mm -hmm. This what, what I was expecting was to leave the theater being like, ha-ha, I was right. This movie was terrible. It's a disgrace. It's an absolute blasphemous statement to Power Rangers. Oh, it is, but... You just kind of feel dead inside. I just, again, I couldn't enjoy this movie. So overall, if I had to give this a grade, it would get a solid D minus. Like, it, it, you're, you're like, not even enough to pass, but like, barely. Like, like I think, like the minute you walked out of the theater, I could sort of hear, like, like I know you probably didn't say it. You were like crusty, being like, "The hell was that?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like, yeah, you, know, you know me. I've got, I got pretty low standards, so I'm willing to give it a, I'm willing to give it a C minus, but. Yeah. Even then, that it's is like, just even, that's, even then, that's kind of that's kind of pushing it. It's like I am really like I am like halfway between C minus and D plus because yes, oh, I just cannot. What is your grade, right, Will? I, I I agree with Josh somewhere in between that because honestly, the only parts I got invested in were um, you know certain scenes with Rita Repulsa, especially in the jewelry store and the action scene at the end. Everything else just put me to sleep. Yeah, and it's like and Bill, it's like. Zach was okay, but Billy was Billy was probably the most likable of the main cast. Yeah. I don't like the fact that they took these token characters and slapped on. Oh, this one's autistic. Oh, this one's struggling with her sexuality. Oh, this one's like you know, like and it's uh, on parole. Like you don't you don't need to take these characters and just slap tropes on them. It's a, they feel like, they feel like tools. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So as a hardcore Power Rangers fan, I cannot recommend this movie. I don't even. I, I normally I'd say, well, you know what? You be the judge for yourself. No, I I do not. I do just, not just recommend. Just th solid thumbs down. Well, with, for me, at the end of the day, it's like I. 
There are people who love this movie, and there are people who hate it. So mm-hmm. I, my say statement is watch and judge it for yourself. Because hey, maybe you'll like it. Because I know people who love it. There right? are some positive reviews for that, and I'm not saying that they don't account mm-hmm. for anything. Maybe there are some people who <laughs> see some positive things in this. Maybe they see things we don't. So at the end of the day, this has been Josh, Will, me. See you on the next video. Who believed that Billy was dead?